What's going on YouTube family? So today we are going to do a quick unboxing of uh, my new DJI Air 2S drone. I just picked this up the other day, got rid of my Mavic Air 2 and picked this one up. And uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing of it and show you what comes in the box, which made the box. and. Uh, you can decide whether you like it or would like to pick one up too. Let me zoom out just a little bit here for you. And One nice thing about when you buy the Flymore combo is you get the carrying case here, which comes with a nice adjustable shoulder type nylon type strap. Pretty nice. A nice case here. Um, don't know what this is. Um, just some Chinese that I don't understand. Don't care. So you have a nice DJI branded case that comes with it, with the strap. Let's unzip it and take a look at the drum. All right, so first thing to mention is you do have, once you open it up, you do have a zipper pack at the top here for uh, storage. All right. Then you have the drone right here, which I'm going to set to the side momentarily. And, uh, so that's what comes in the case. We'll set this up on the side here. All right. So obviously you're going to have your controller right here. So let's get that open here. All right. So you have your DJI controller. Nice, got your speakers. I accidentally turned it on. You do get your joystick storage at the bottom there as well. So you get an extra set of joysticks, which is nice. Um, yeah, you can get a nice size uh, mobile phone in there. I would say that's probably with that. Yeah, it comes with the Apple cable in there, obviously. Um, I do Android, so you can switch that out. It just unplugs from right there. No big deal, really nice. You got your camera and your record button, your up down, yeah, nice. Same controller that comes with the Mavic Air too, um, but if you're not familiar with it, you, you get that as well. So we'll set that up there. Then with the Fly More combo as well, you also do get your battery bank charger, which is nice. Um, you're able to charge all three of your batteries. Let's pop this open here. So, and this bundle here, we're gonna set that up there. So you're gonna get your AC power adapter in here. We're just going to try to get that off there. All right, let's see, you get your stuff sticking on it. You get your power adapter for your battery bank. Boom. And plug it in. And that's what this other end is here. You're able to come over here. Right. And then that's how you would charge your batteries. These are your batteries. You get three with the Fly More combo. Right here, like so. Battery number one. Battery number two. All right, I'm not sure where that came off, but the last accessory was this uh, power bank.
which allows you to use your DJI batteries, plug them in, and allows you to plug your USB-A cord into say like uh, your phone or camera to charge it um, while you're in the field if need be. Nice little addition. Um, and these batteries are gonna be 3,500 milliamps at 11.55 volts, just so you know. So we'll go ahead and set that. And this over here momentarily. All right, and now we'll finally get to the drone itself, which is right here. And we're gonna go ahead and, well, I'll leave these prop guides on for right now because I'm not gonna put them on. So the drone will open up, arm flip out, arm flip out, flip down, and flip down. And this one is nice. This is your other battery. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off for the time being just to see the drone here. So that's the drone in itself. You do have your reverse obstacle avoidance sensors. You do have your front obstacle avoidance and your upper and or full tilt sensor. So if you're cruising along like this, you have optical avoidance if you're fully level or if you're going full tilt, your sensors are actually will uh, give you some optical avoidance in there. Um, your gimbal protector, this is, this comes off along with all these stickers. Um, DJ, I love the sticker. They'll put a sticker on everything. So you wanna get all your stickers off real right quick. You don't have to do this. Um, just gonna do it while I'm looking at it. All right, so then we get that off of there, like I said. And there is a warning on there as well that says, be sure to charge to activate the battery. And that is what I was telling you a minute ago. And of course you have your prop protectors on there. Um, you have a spot over here for USB-C. If you want to offload files or anything directly from the drone, you can do that. And on the other side, you do have your micro SD card slot in there. I'll be running a 128 gigabyte card. Um, on the bottom, you have time of flight sensors and you have a light. So you can technically fly this indoors. And then let's pop the gimbal cover off here. All right, gimbal cover is off. You don't fly with that, it just comes with it. Let's get the rest of these stickers off right here. Like I said there, I love putting a sticker on stuff. I don't really know why. They sticker it up. All right. So that should be all the stickers. And one of the nice things, a nice gimbal on there, three axis gimbal. Um, you do have a one inch sensor on this camera versus the half inch sensor on the Mavic Air 2. Um, and you do have a actual 20 megapixel camera on the Mavic Air. They advertised it as 48 megapixel, but it was actually 12 megapixel and then digitally enhanced three times over. So they said 48, but this is an actual full um, one inch 20 megapixel sensor. It does have the ADB air sense in there. Um, you do have some lights on the corner to identify the front and rear of your drone in flight and or in night flight. Um, with the batteries and um, no wind at all, you're looking at about 31 minutes of flight time. Um, obviously that would decrease if it's windy or there were other extenuating circumstances um, that would also um, lower the flight time. So I would just say expect to have um, roughly, uh, you know, at least 25 minutes per battery, I think is a fair bet to say safely. Um, we're gonna go ahead and re-secure our gimbal back in there like so. And then we'll give you this little, um, let me zoom just out just a little bit, try to get everything in there. So with the Fly More kit, you do get the drone, Mavic Air 2S drone. 
you get the controller. You get three complete batteries, like so. You get the three, the um, multiple battery charger, charges three batteries simultaneously, and the power adapter to operate it. So you get that with the four more combo. You get your usual user manuals and stuff. You get your ND filters, 4, 8, 16, and 32. You get an extra thing of joysticks, a remote control charge cable, and you get three complete sets of props for your gun. So that's what you get when purchasing the DJI Mavic Air 2S, um, or I should say Mavic Air 2S Fly More Combo. That's what you'll get in the package. It's around $1,299 for the combo kit. Um, you know, if you have a Mavic Air, you may or may not uh, want to upgrade in this. Um, I had the Mavic Air and I had it, it was unopened. So for me, it was worthwhile for me to sell it and just go ahead and uh, upgrade to this one. Um, this is the better drone. It's not really per se worth the $1,299, but it, it is the better drone of the two. So if you can't afford it and you know, you can reach in your pockets and they're a little deep, by all means, uh, check it out. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, by all means, put them in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be adding a flight video with this really shortly. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being the best part of the channel. I love y'all. family just wanted to come on here real quick and kind of give you a little update here as you can see the image is extremely overexposed and as we start spinning around at a little bit higher of a speed you'll notice a lot of motion blur in there that is not due to the air 2s's inability to take quality video and or photos i totally forgot to put an nd filter on um, during this flight and totally uh, was running auto settings on the camera and therefore that shutter speed was just wide open and it was causing a lot of that motion blur and overexposure that you're seeing so um, i do apologize for that but rest assured that is not the drone that's just uh, improper setup